Games. started the filming scenario. Hello, common fairy subjects. My husband and I welcome you to this interactive training film. New fangled magic. We had to rely on our wits in my day. <laughs> if one is viewing this uh, film, one must be suffering a lack of magic. One should follow the on-screen instructions to learn how to use emergency magic wish stars. And that is all. Um, yes. Very good. Very good indeed. <clears throat> Carry on. Hey, what's happening? We're in the training movie. I think it's going to teach us to use emergency magic reserves. Wow, that was King Oberon and Queen Titania. I didn't know fairies had a king and queen. We haven't for a long time. This must be a really old movie. 
But we can't stay here. We've got to fix my TV. How do we get back? I guess we'll just have to follow the instructions. Come on, Timmy. What am I supposed to be learning? Let's start with the basics. Try moving around using the left analog stick. I get this. And the right analog stick orients my view of the world, right? That's right. And of major importance. You can talk to me and Cosmo whenever you want. Um, shouldn't that be Cosmo and I? Try talking to us, sweetie. Hi, Timmy. It's great to talk, so do it whenever you want. Talk, talk, talk. Can't a berry get any peace? I'm only kidding. I love to talk. Look, it's Oberon. He used to be... Hello. My godparents tell me you used to be royalty. Did you fairies bring your godchild into the training film? That's right, Your Ex Majesty. We're trying to fix Timmy's TV so he can watch Crash Nebula. Hmm, very well. Pay attention, Timmy. Now, what was my line? Oh, yes. There are times when wings just get tired. In these situations, you may need to jump. Let's find out how. Now then, jumping is vital to getting around. Let's tackle this staircase. Good work. Now, cross these treacherous bookcases. Treacherous book? For bigger leaps, jump in the air. That's right. Ignore the rules of physics and jump twice. That's right. Show us what you got. My I Spy Book of X Fairy Royalty. Let's go see if she's in a bad mood like this. Hi, little X Fairy Queen Titania. Teach me stuff. Well, one shot. Do children no longer have manners? Not anymore. TV has taught them that manners just waste time. Sorry, your fairy ship. Maybe you could teach us about emergency wish stars anyway? If one must, but one will complain to the appropriate authorities. <clears throat> Collect three stars to gain one wish. It's as simple as that. I don't see any stars. Wish stars can be frisky. You may have to sprint to catch them. Off you go, filthy little child. I thought it was a chocolate star. Oh well. There's a second star. Climbing, jumping, pushing stuff, you wish star out of reach. Try stepping on something. That box looks movable. Grab on, then push or pull to move the box. Grab the star, two down, one to go. I don't see a star, but that switch looks interesting. Can't find your star? Search everywhere and bounce any switch you see. What's the worst thing that could happen? That's my motto. Switches do all kinds of things, Timmy, such as opening doors or moving objects. To press a switch, bounce it from the air. That worked! A bookcase moved, revealing a star. Three stars! How do I wish? In the usual way, Timmy. Yeah, move your mouth to make words. Well, okay. I wish that I was back in front of a working TV watching Crash Nebula. Oh, dear. I'm sorry, Timmy, but wish stars simply aren't that powerful. Think everyday wish, not Sunday best wish. Um, so what can I wish for? You must wish for a magical catapult with which to activate the magic targets. When activated, these targets allow the pupil to leave the training arena. Wow! She's so bossy! If that's the only way out of here, I wish for a magic catapult.
fairy fellow. I, I mean, fellow fairy. You have passed basic training. <laughs> well done, Timmy. You passed training. Now to find out what's up with our magic and your TV. Can emergency wish stars fix my TV? I've only missed half of Crash Nebula. We really have to find out why our magic isn't working, Timmy. We should visit Fairy World. But the TV listing says that Crash Nebula is on again tomorrow. Great! I've got 24 hours to fix my TV. There's no time to lose to Fairy World. Um, this looks like Fairy World, but it's even stranger than usual. Oh no, something's wrong. You don't want Jorgen Von Strangle to hear you, just in case this is our fault. Ah, I'm not scared of Jorgen Von Strangle. Are you sure, Puny Fairy? <laughs> We didn't do anything this time. I had considered blaming you anyway, Tiny Timmy Turner. But you are lucky. I already have a suspect. Mr. Von Strangle, sir, we've lost our wish-granting powers. We came here to find out why. All theories are without their powers. My muscular intellect suspects that it has something to do with the missing royal jewel. That's okay, then. Oh, no. Wait. That's the worst thing that can happen. Oh, dear. Cosmos Fuse. Royal Jewel? Stolen? Why is that so bad? The Royal Jewel has tremendous magical power. It is the second most powerful magic known to fairies. And am I to guess that it's fallen into the wrong hands? Eh, uh, this is embarrassing. But I must ask for your help, Tiny Timmy Turner. Well, okay. Anything to fix my TV. What do you want? You must first rescue Fairy World from a devious peril. Come with me and I will show you. We've got to try to recover a stolen magic gem. My prime suspect is a jester named Quince. He worked for Oberon and Titania, our old king and queen. They recently fired him. So, Quince stole the jewel as revenge for losing his job? He took his jesting very seriously. Now he is causing havoc in Fairy World, demanding his old job back. So we have to fix the stuff in Fairy World, find the jester and stop him. With my expert management skills, even your puny trio should succeed. How exactly is Jorgen managing us? By leaving us to manage by ourselves. I didn't get any of that. Let's just do stuff and see what happens. This fountain spouts clubs. Weird. Quince must have stolen these clubs from some helpless playing cards. The big look there. An emergency wish star. One star down. Two more and we can grant a wish. This is where you can save your gate. Just bounce the switch to save your progress. Are the elves working for Quint? I see a wish star on top of that house! If you collect enough crowns, you can spend them at the store! Two stars! That's one each, except for Wanda! than that, Timmy. I need a lot more. If we're going to rescue all those poor Club 3 cards, we'll need something for transporting suits. Like a suitcase. Maybe some sort of playing card suit restoration gizmo thingy. Okay. I wish for some sort of playing card restoration gizmo thingy. I had one of those when I was a little fairy. Now you're a lot fairy. 
Now you can carry playing card suits from suit fountains. Duh, how else would a playing card restoration gizmo thingy work? Check it out! If I use my card spray gizmo here, I can stop it with clubs. Then you'll have to take the clubs to blank cards. But the gizmo can only hold so many clubs. If you run out, voila! Bridge! More no trumps! I like the way this jester thinks. There's the municipal town hall! It's a house only, so we don't need to go inside. But be sure to look at it, because it took someone ages to build. Thank you. 
you've collected three stars so we can grant a wish. I wish I was a cowboy. I'll do this one. I'm a cow expert. Cosmo, haven't you ever seen a cowboy movie? Oh, yeah. I watch the Bovine Adventure Channel all the time. I think it's perfect. Fairy cows are very safety conscious and always look after their calves. So they'll follow me when I wear this ridiculous outfit? Well, okay. I did good again. Go Team Cosmo! If you wear your cowboy suit, the cow will follow you. You should wear it anyway. It's cool. You'll need to move to get its attention. A cow elevator. The dairy fairy thinks of everything. You can transport cows by leaving them onto the platform, then bouncing the switch. Yes, 
We know you're happy. One more cow to go. Green hair, I won't be handsome. 
Don't worry, hon. One good witch should fix it. Once we have enough stars. The star's making a break for it. The star is a hand. It's good.
restored all the color. That should rebuild at least some of the stepping stones. Let's add it by magic. We can ride this rainbow slide back down to the ground. Whee! Positively mimsy without grade. I just want my job back. I guess it's a fight then. Why is it always fighting? Well, it's better than talking to this weirdo. <laughs> the switch changed the fountain suit. It went with the suit he's wearing. Really? I'm all hot. <laughs> Snickerstack, thy vorpal spray has mortally wounded poor humans. <laughs> you whiffled my way. Thy vorpal spray has mortally wounded poor winds. Watch out for the elves! Spade! Snickerstaff! Thy vorpal spray. I see that you have apprehended the despicable criminal. I'm not a despicable criminal. I'm a despicable jester. So do something funny! Lady Titania, Lord Oberon, Kalu Calais, have you come to give me my job back? What commands you to be silent, you miserable lump of earwig wax? Von Strangle, here is the thief, where is the jewel? Where is the jewel, you miserable lump? What jewel? The royal jewel you stole, you pathetic speck of thieving termite dribble. I'm not a thieving dribble, I'm a dribbling jester. You still haven't done anything funny. I will question the suspect. He is puny. He will talk. I'm making you personally responsible for recovering the jewel, Von Strangle. See to it. Come, Timmy Turner. Come, incompetent fairies. Follow me. Jorgen's base of operations. So many screens can't stop 
watching TV! The jester does not have the jewel. Someone else must have stolen it. I'll bet that stolen jewel is to blame for you guys losing your powers. And for my TV going kablooey. I will continue with my investigation. I will locate the thief. But I require a backup plan. What do we do? There's only one magical object more powerful than the royal jewel! Yay! A Fairyversary Muffin! Never underestimate the power of muffins! That is correct. There is the magic Fairyversary Muffin recipe. I will entrust it to you, but you must catch it first! Wow! Look at that recipe go! I think he's had too much sugar. Quick, Timmy! Catch it! Oh, this is the fabled Fairy Magic Muffin recipe! Look! There's some stale dough on one. You found the recipe, Jorgen! I'm not impressed. Go, Tiny Timmy Turner. Take the recipe, collect the ingredients, and bake a magic muffin. Only oven-baked treats can save TV. Ooh, that looks delicious. Pixie sugar, moon calf milk, a phoenix egg, and super strong hair-raising flour? Where are we going to get ingredients like that? There's only one place I can think of. Internet! <laughs> I've ordered all the ingredients from the only store that had them. And there's only one of each in the store. We got look. Wow, that's a new experience. And there. Now to wait. <laughs> Yay! Thank goodness for the one second delivery guarantee. We have to stop delivery for Tony Turner? I'm his babysitter! I'll take those! Oh no, Vicky! She's gonna eat my ingredients! Quickly, Timmy! Get down there! What is this crap? Flour, sugar, and egg! Ooh, no! I am kinda thirsty. Did you say sugar? I need some sugar to power my newest invention! And I just ran out of flour. Here you are, Mr. and Mrs. Turner. It belongs to Timmy. Oh, I'm sure he won't mind. Well, we raised him to be generous. I lost the sugar, the flour, and the milk. But the egg is still okay. Hmm, I must be losing my touch. Did you get them back? I bet you did. All the ingredients are gone, Cosmo. What are we gonna do? There are no more in the store. But don't give up, Timmy. Yeah, we've got hours before Crash Nebula comes on. We've got plenty of time to go on bizarre adventures and find the ingredients. We'd better go talk to Jorgen. Hmm, that did not go so very well. How do you know? I was watching on one of my many fairy control screens. Oh, I don't suppose they show Crash Nebula. No. <sighs> You can use them to locate your missing ingredients. Move to a screen with an image and activate it. Ooh, oh boy, time to check in on the Home Improvement Channel. And better still, my latest invention can do all that strenuous TV stuff. Robot, channel 15,006, please. This should be a cinch. The pixie sugar muffin ingredient must be in that fuel tank on Dad's robot's back. I always love your dad's dumb inventions. I bet he'll know how to get the sugar. Wake him up! The magic TV signal must be making him sleep. How do I wake him up? The easy way! We'll take you into his dream. You can wake him up from the inside. Great plan, cutie! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, guys, is this what my dad dreams about? It's pretty weird, Timmy, but dreams tend to be weird. Wow, that's pretty weird. Dad's dreaming about a giant robot? What does that mean? It means he likes giant robots. I mean, who doesn't? Let's concentrate on the job at hand, boys. Waking your dad up, Timmy. And how do we do that? We need to shock him away. I suggest wrecking his dream. You mean destroy that robot? Sure, it's not real. He can dream it again if he wants. Okay. Let's whip up some wishes and break Dad free of that strange TV magic. A suit! But there's no one in it! Oh, yeah, it's creepy. Let's make a wish!
This crate looks floaty. Maybe we should push it into the water.
it's not an ultra powerful super magnet. It's a super powerful ultra magnet. No! Guys, it's great. Stop moping. We've got work to do. Now you can move this metal block with your ultra magnet.
up the junk, then spit it back out. Ah, uh, the board, Mom. Ah, uh, that wasn't funny. Find another way across the wall. Oh, a sticker. Make it into a stacker. along nicely. Yeah, one more rain surge should do it. Thank <laughs> you. 
friend safe! <laughs> Finished. That's much better. But we need fuel. Head for that contact portal 
いてに Initiated. Scanning. Tiny life forms detected. Subroutine activated. Source code. Stomp. Initiating stomp module. Destroy tiny life forms. Run! A huge wrecking ball with a switch! Hey, that's generous. Maybe Timmy's dad wants to be wakened up.
bad dream. How many times have I told you not to break my giant robot inventions into a thousand pieces? Come on, Dad. It's not that bad. Ego, Ego in, in turmoil, turmoil must, must wake, wake up. up, 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 up. <laughs> Dad? I just had the strangest dream. You were there, Timmy, and you were a very naughty figment of my overstressed imagination. Dad, I need the sugar from your robot. Hmm? Oh, you like it, huh? It's the next inevitable phase in essential technology for very lazy people. Voice-activated remote control robots! You command it using the code words. Which are? Give me some sugar, baby! I'm going to my den to sulk and have a tantrum. But do as I say, not as I do. Your dad sure loved his robot. I had to traumatize him, but I got the pixie sugar. And where parents are concerned, it's getting what you want that counts. We need a phoenix egg to make a magic muffin, but the only one available on the internet is smashed to smithereens! Thanks to Vicky! Where can we find another one? Wait! I remember where I saw a phoenix egg! There's one in an old Crimson Chin comic! Say no more! That's it! Issue 133, part 27 of the Dark Phoenix Egg Saga! Chin alone! A classic issue! The evil H2 Olga is flooding Cincinnati! But why? You'll soon find out, Crimson Chin! Prepare for the power of the Phoenix Egg! No! My chin-tastic powers draining into that fiery egg! And as soon as Cincinnati is flooded, I'll destroy this egg and with it the power of the Crimson Chin! Ha 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 ha! Wow! Can the Chin survive this peril? That's up to us, Cosmo. Let's go! <laughs> so, 
what happens in this issue, Timmy? H2O guy uses the Phoenix Egg to siphon off the Crimson Chin's chintastic powers. So what's with all the water? Aha! Uh -huh. In order to destroy the Chin's powers forever, Olga needs enough water to quench the fiery egg. So she takes over Chinsinati Waterworks and floods the city with Chintonite polluted water. So the water's evil? Even one part per gazillion in water could be harmful to me. It'd be good not to fall in, then. I, I can see the waterworks. I don't see a way inside. The entrance is submerged. H2O Olga must be using the famous Cincinnati giant faucets to flood the sea. A plan fiendish in its unlikelihood. If we can turn the faucets off, would that help? Or block them up, Captain Cosmo? If we stop the flow of water, the waterworks entrance will be revealed. That sounds like a super plan, Fairy Sidekicks. It's time to use the faucet. Are we catching stars or rescuing them? Hey, we got three stars if you count me. Two if you don't. Faucet is blocked, so the water level actually re 
deuces. Go us! Justice prevails! Now we just have to do the same thing to the other faucet. And we can enter the waterworks. We can grab that phoenix egg and foil Olga's evil plan.
strong indication that we're on the right track.
Captain Cosmo, but I am so used to my powers, when they're stolen, it feels like a really mild dose of flu. So you see, left must battle in my stead. It's perfectly normal, Cosmo. The whole point of sidekicks is to fill in when powers get lost. 
Don't worry, Tin. Clap will save the day.
H2O goes through that door. Ooh, will memory serve me breakfast? French toast, please! Chin Wonder, once again, Chin Sonati owes you a debt of thanks. It was nothing, Chin. 
But we better get these superpowers out of this egg and into your jaw. Yeah, we don't want pieces of chin in our muffin. I'll ignore that cryptic comment, Captain Cosmo. Ha! No more weak chin for me. Thanks, Cleft. Off to Cincinnati jail for this wet squib. This is a job for the Crimson Chin! Ha! <laughs> Wrong way. Cincinnati is safe once again. And we have a new Phoenix egg. Let's keep this one away from Vicky. We should get back. We still don't have all the ingredients for the muffin yet. Jorgen's going to make sure we never grant another wish again if we don't get a move on. Enjoy having arms and legs, feeble Cosmo Fury? Sure, they're useful. Ah, you are too stupid to intimidate. Thanks. Have you found the royal jewel yet? Do we need the other muffin ingredients? I have not located the jewel key. Where was it stored from? The jewel was stored in a vault in Oberon and Titania's mansion. It was locked behind the magic door which never opens. Is the door that never opens still a door? Or just part of a wall? I have decided that you, Timmy Turner, and your annoying godparents <laughs> shall aid in my investigation. A precious jewel stolen from behind an unopenable door? This sounds like a mystery for Ace Spade, the Maltese Chicken. I love the way you switch disguises, sweetie. And I love mysteries. Most things are a mystery to me. Let's go. Good day, young man. <laughs> Good fellas. Hello, crinkly old Chamberlain. Jorgen von Strangle sent us here to detect stuff. Ah, the missing jewel. Yes, it is a sad day. I feel pretty good. Me too. Maybe it's only sad if you're old. So, Mr. Faithful Retainer who was above suspicion, any clues? I'm sure the mansion is packed with them, young Master Timmy. Uh, but I fear my eyes aren't what they used to be. What did they used to be? Eggs? Bees? Turtle toes? Are Oberon and Titania here? I want to suck up to ex-royalty and maybe try on some fancy dresses. <laughs> Regrettably, due to a, um, shall we say, sudden attack of being too highly strung, my lord and lady are not available for interview. You should start by talking to the door that never opens. It guards the treasure room. A talking door? Okay, that sounds like fun. Let's detect. Ah, a ghost! Wanda, make it go away! It's probably as scared of you as you are of it, Cosmo. Wow, I'm really scary. So, the mansion's haunted, huh? Interesting. Right here, genius. I'm a door. I don't move. Do re me. Don't make notes. Take notes. And you never opened? Hey, it's not my job to open. I keep people out. So the 
thief must have got into the treasure room through some other entrance. Ooh, you're sharp, I can tell. Would you mind if I dusted your handle for Prince? Yes. Our work here is done! Thank you. 
time seems upside down. Now ceilings will become floors and floors will become ceilings. Try it now. Let's find out how good that creaky old Chamberlain is at dusting. I quite liked Quintasol. He made me laugh. That flea sneeze of a jester was never amusing, Oberon. He had to be let go. But he seemed so upset. And you blamed Quince for the theft of the jewel? Just as you said, that disgusting drip of frog snot Jorgen von Strangle seemed to fall for it. Good. Good. Now, get rid of this irritating child and his moronic fairy godparents. Well, yes. Yes, of course. As you say, it shall be done. That was interesting. But it was just hearsay, inadmissible as evidence. So let's find some miscible evidence. <laughs> There is no floor, and we can't. There's something going on here. We need to find clues. Let's collect... You, Knight, dodge his blows. That's a pretty big move. I wonder what they use it for. must have been attracted to it. That suggests it's magical. We can jump up here. You'll be over the loom. We can't jump up here. Try your upside down. I hope there's no toilets in this room.
curses, guys. We're in a haunted mansion. What should I wish for? We need to be able to do the same things ghosts do. I'm already scary. Watch this. Okay, then. I wish I could be a ghost. Careful what you wish for, Timmy. We don't want to do this the hard way. Cool. I'm a ghost. I bet I can see through grills and gratings and stuff. Activate the costume to go boo. It's so scary. Right, Cosmo? Keep it away from me. No. Don't worry, Cosmo. I only haunt bad guys.
she call this? Uh, a magic buying glass? Uh, oh, get it? No, no we shouldn't. I don't think so either. Answer that again and I'll turn you into a candelabra, then light all your hands. When I use this magic buying glass, I should be able to see stuff that isn't visible to the naked eye. Oh boy, I'm gonna check everywhere. I'm funny, laugh at me. There's a floaty magic trail. If we follow it, we can find out who made it. She who spied it provided it. Good one, Cosmo. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
of rodent fur? We will never tell you who has the jewel. Aha! Uh -huh. So you gave it to someone else? You foolish old goat gizzard! Don't say a thing! It doesn't matter. They'll never stop the process. Soon the human world shall be ours to ruin. You intend to rule the world? One is royalty. Royalty should rule. If one cannot rule fairy world, one will make a new magic realm in which to be obeyed. We better get these two back to Jorian. He can question them. One supreme personage, manhandled by that muscle-brained outpouring of platypus vomit? Never! Now why didn't I think of that? Oh dear! They got away! Yeah, but look what I found in all this magical stuff! It's a magic muffin pan! Good work, Cosmo! That'll come in handy! I cannot believe that Oberon and Titania stole the royal jewel. I take it you were watching on your monitors? Don't you ever see anything useful? Like where the jewel is now? Be silent! You must continue to recover the muffin ingredients. Yeah, I know. Only a magic muffin has the power to undo the effects of the royal jewel. And give us our magic back! Not to mention fix the TV so Timmy can watch Crash Nebula. Impossible to make banana bread without flour. And now, from Big Bad Bakery Broadcasting, Banana Bread Binge, a new show dedicated to all things banana bread. Ooh, my show's on! <laughs> oh, what's wrong with the TV? I want the banana bread show, not some dumb documentary on monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> well, really, a filthy monkey, go away! <laughs> Who are you? Where am I? I'll have you know that I am no ordinary monkey. Brother, I am king of all apes! Beware, king ape! The television is talking to me! It's never done that before! Heed me, O oh king! These humans consider themselves more evolved than you, and will attempt to enslave you. But it is your destiny to rule them. Make of this world what you will. My destiny? To rule? But should I believe everything I hear on TV? But beware. One shall come to overthrow you with one sandal, a lion-shaped birthmark, and a silly pink hat. 
well, the hat at the very least. Human female, do you know of this pink-hatted warrior? My son Timmy wears a pink hat. Then you shall come with me. If this pink-hatted warrior attempts to overthrow me, I will overthrow you. Throw you over. Uh, a wall or something. Wait. Well, it won't be pretty, I don't mind telling you. Oh, no. Mom's been kidnapped by a super-evolved ape king who needs to practice his threats. And Dimsdale has been turned into an ape world by TV magic. Oh, how will we get our banana bread now? I mean... We better rescue Mom and get that magic flower back. This isn't right. We're here! This is where the apes take their prisoners. What apes? Where? Why? It's TV magic, Cosmo. An ape documentary got mixed with other shows and now they've become real. And an ape captured my mom! So we've come here to rescue her. But now we need rescuing! How embarrassing! Don't worry, Cosmo. These apes may be highly evolved, but they're dumb enough to leave this crate here. <laughs> Excuse me, human child. Who you calling human? It's an ape! Don't let him out! You can't free me. We political prisoners are imprisoned in extra sturdy metal cages. Political prisoner? What happened? We recently acquired a new king, but he's paranoid. It was prophesied that a small boy with a silly pink hat would oust him from his throne. That's why this place is under a hairy form of martial law. He created new laws to protect himself. And any ape who speaks out is imprisoned. He also captured my mom. Now I've got two evils to put right. The Tyrant King's headquarters are behind the giant ape in the temple. You must find a way to open the statue. That sounds exciting! The monkeys will help you. They hate the Tyrant King because he rations bananas. Remember the Rebel Force's password? Back to bananas! Back to bananas! Back to bananas! Back to bananas! Gotcha. One down, two to go! Please, Star! Put your pointy bits behind your pointy bit! You didn't stand a chance, little Star! And a monkey! Ah, what did that ape say? Back to the Bahamas! Back to bananas, Cosmo. We'd better free the monkey. This cage looks weaker than the metal type. Try climbing on it and bouncing it! Alright! Three stars equals one wish! What do we need this time? An iron? My pants are creased! The ape rebel leader mentioned hordes of ape guards. He said swarms. Either way, we need to distract them. How about bananas? It's well documented that apes can't resist bananas. What about a banana launcher? Even better, a portable banana entrapment deployment snare. I wish I had a banana launcher. You'll need to collect bananas from banana trees. A banana launcher isn't as cool as a portable banana entrapment deployment dong doolap banana openness. No, I can't even say it now. This is a nice tree. Let's hug it. Mm. 
On the other hand, you can bounce it for banana launcher bananas. These guys must be part of the horde of ape guards we were told about. Swarm! Don't let them see you! If you pop a banana next to them, it might distract them!
We have to find a way. We need that star for wish power. Another case star. And a monkey. It's one more star till our wish. Turn the 
the tiny monkey squeal in fear. for bananas. 
Stand on him! That's humane! <laughs> this kind, subservient monkey will take us to the stop of okay. I need super sticky wall climbing abilities. Like Sticky Lizard Man from your comics. He's in the League of Ineffectual Evil. I wish for Sticky Lizard Powers! Wow, that's cool! Now you'll be able to climb vine-covered walls like a real lizard! You can also bask in the sun and run on hot sand! But I already could! If they hit you, 
this TV magic to go away! child from the prophecy. Do not take my lands or my chattels or bondsmen or any of that stuff. Who do? Take that. Oh, yes. Who's the eighth king? I'm bad. Oh, yes. It's my birthday. That's right. I told you not to fight prophecy-fearing, super-evolved ape kings. But, Mom, I rescued you! Well, that's all that's stopping me from grounding you, young man. Now, where's my flour? I still have banana bread to bake. Um, the flour was spilled in the fight, Mom. You'll have to buy new flour. Typical. 
I guess a mother's work is never done. All the flour was spilled! Oh no! What do we do? Take it easy, Cosmo. I couldn't give the magic flower to Mom. I've got it right here. Good work, Timmy! The show is over! TV shows are dangerous when they become real, but at least they end! We better leave before we start to experience technical difficulties! My vertical hole feels a little itchy! on humiliation techniques I want to see. Are aliens real? Possibly not. But that won't stop another highly improbable exploration of scientific fact on Are We Alone? Ooh, aliens! Turner, if this is some stupid game, I'll make you scrub the bathroom with a toothbrush while wearing a dress. And I'll take pictures! What is the matter, oh most evil space queen? Huh? You're that foreign exchange student from Europe. Am I in Europe? You are within your very own humongous and gargantuan space palace, the seat of your universal empire, from which you rule absolutely everything. Really? Oh. Correction, nearly everything, Empress Vicky. Only one tiny planet resists your steely grip. The planet Earth. It is time. Begin charging your invincible babysitter array. Okay. Only one hero is capable of saving the Earth from Space Empress Vicky's dastardly babysitter array. And that hero is... Here we are on Vicky's evil planet, light years away from home. Well, at least you're dressed for it. The right clothing is vital in space. It can be chilly. Yes, thanks for the crash suit, guys. But now what? You're in a TV show, right? That's right, Cosmo. Weird TV magic has made this space show into reality. And Vicky has been cast as a villain, which is kind of appropriate. And Timmy has seen plenty of space shows on TV, right? I love space shows! Pow, pow! Perish, alien scum! So you know exactly what to do! He does? Eat protein cubes, beam up, beam down, get messy in trash compactors, make noises, rescue sisters you didn't know you had, and head for the space palace! Gee, thanks for the help, Cosmo. It all sounds so straightforward now!
inside. Now we can make one of your crash suits gizmos work. Ah, what'll it be? Protein cube insertion unit, in helmets around sound stereo, microwave boot warmer. There's one thing that every space hero needs, guys. I wish for a jetpack. Oh, good choice. Wow, my back is turbocharged. When you activate the jetpack, it'll swoosh you up in the air for a little while. And if its fuel pods are punctured, it'll explode so quickly you won't feel a thing. Aha! A prime whooshing opportunity! If you need to practice with your jetpack, try the planet's surface. Plus, we saw stuff out there. Get away, Tim Can!
detected in that corridor? That's right. If I remember correctly, and it would be a first, gamma rays make eugonium become solid. That's good. Of course. You can't walk on a eugonium floor unless it's solid. Okay, then. I wish for gamma rays. One bucket of gamma rays coming up. That doesn't sound safe, Cosmo. I have a better idea. Well, you modified my suit to give off gamma rays when I wanted to. That's right. And the shielding inside the suit will protect you from side effects and traces of nuts. Good thing fairies aren't affected by harmful radiation. That's why we don't tan. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
advertising is based on pinball. All the science is in making it bigger. Impatient you are! Destroy you, your beers will! This must be the work of a diabolically evil simpleton! <laughs> Kid, 
We'll hold him off until my babysitter Ray is fully charged. Lasers? I've seen lasers. Too many lasers, actually. But they won't stop me! Good work, Timmy! Keep hitting the switches! Something good is bound to happen! in the skies! Now I got milk! Hi guys, check it out! Save the world again! It's a good habit to get into! Where are we? What are these weird words? Credits, Cosmo, remember? The TV magic made Vicky's space show into reality! It's all the fault of whoever stole the royal jewel! I get it! 
And the show ended when we won, so the credits roll. No, ooh, they're making me dizzy. We should get out of here before the commercials start then. Oven, please allow me. Time to lose. The Magic TVs are all broadcasting the same show now. Soon, that show will take over the world. The muffin is too hot to eat. We'd better get to the TV station and do what we can while it cools. But which TV station is it? You see, I have been investigating. It is Channel 13. boy and his godparents. That sounds like Oberon! Wow! The bad guys are already tied up! That saves some time! We were lied to. He said that he would use the royal jewel to create a new magical realm on Earth for us to rule, but he lied. He used the jewel to make your TV devices magical so they would make real TV shows. Who? Who took the jewel? Who is running this TV station? I have an idea about that. Uh, excuse me, young man. It's the Chamberlain. Then whose shadow is that? I don't think it's mine. I have a confession to make. No, man! Let me! He's the one! The Chamberlain's shadow! He is evil! The shadow tricked us. He promised us a realm to rule, then took it for himself. We don't like to be tricked. You're washed up, Oberon. In your hunger for power, you considered yourself more important than other fairies. And now, you pay the price for your pride. Let me get this straight. The Chamberlain isn't attached to his shadow? Don't you get lonely? I magically separated my shadow from my feet 
centuries ago. You see, I thought that if there were two of me, I could better serve my lord and lady. But the fool failed to realize that all shadows are evil. Evil, I say! And now, after years of slavery and plotting, I will finally rule my own custom-built world. I get it. You used the power of the Royal Jewel to broadcast magic through TV sets. And now you can broadcast any show you want into reality. That's right, Timmy Turner. It took some time to tune the channel properly. But now I'm broadcasting Shadow TV to make a world in which shadows will wear their casters, not the other way around. <laughs> we'll foil your two-dimensional plan, Shadow. We have to try. We do. is making it real, all real. Now, shadows will drag you people behind them through the dirt. <laughs> oh, no. Where's the muffin? A fairy versary muffin? Oh, no, you don't. You must all come back to the mansion to celebrate. No time. I have a TV show to watch. Guys, I wish we were home. You got it, Timmy.
was the repeat of the season finale of Crash Nebula, which will never be shown again. Here's hoping you didn't miss it. No! Never mind, Timmy. At least you saved the world. Huh? What? Who cares about the world? I missed Crash Nebula! It could be worse. The whole world could have been turned into Crash Nebula. At least then I'd know what happened. But aren't you forgetting something? We have our powers back! See? What? Yeah! I wish I could see the season finale of Crash Nebula!